Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to share, I'm only going to share a couple of things here and, and it's really not even a recipe but this is what I'm making myself for lunch and um, I just, I, I want to show you how easy this is. Now these are mini wontons, fully cooked, that I get at Costco and for, I can have 10 of them for, um, oh wow, no I can have 8 of them for 100 calories, I'm going to have 10 because they're small and I love them. So I've, I've taken out of the Fridge Smart um, my green onions and I, I wash mine first um, and dry them very, very well. Lay them out on uh, toweling and get them dry before I put them in here. Now, it, it doesn't keep them as long as if you put them in the Fridge Smarts dry and dirty, but I go through green onions so fast that I like this way and then I can just take it out and and get it chopped up. So I'm cutting up the last green onion that I want in here. And I'm sharing my, well, how I make my pot sticker sauce because it's delicious, let me just tell you. So get my green onion all cut up and we're ready to go. And I should bring you in close so you can kind of get a visual of how this is. In this pint jar, I have about a third of a cup of white vinegar and I've got water, soy sauce, garlic powder, and garlic uh, or onion powder. So, okay, so I've, in this container is just plain water. I've got a cup of water. Is that well, how much? I don't know that I want that much, honestly. I'm going to change my mind a little bit of how I was going to do this, but I want a, um, a half a tablespoon. Whoops. Well, we'll put some back. There we go. So a half a tablespoon for a pint. We're making a pint of pot, a pot sticker sauce. So half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of garlic, granulated garlic. I like the powdered garlic too, but I just, I grabbed this. This was easy to grab, right? Mm. Oh, it smells good already. So, and then we want about, um, I want to put these green onions in here. I'm gonna go ahead and save a little bit for garnish because, yeah. And these onions just keep getting better in the sauce. So the sauce lasts for weeks in your refrigerator. And you can use um, dehydrated onions if you want. So again, about well, now I'm a little over halfway, and I'm going to finish it off with water. Make sure that we give it a little taste. And another stir around the pot. Now, if you like your spicy, mm -hmm. mm, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, that's perfect. I don't want to do anything else to it. But if you want to spicy, you could add red pepper flakes. You can add um, a little bit of ginger. Mm, I might add some ginger. Um, you can add a little bit, if you like it on the sweet and tangy side, you can add a little bit of uh, sugar. So, but today this is what I'm working with other than I might grate some ginger in here because <laughs> I do like ginger. So, uh, now we're going to move to the, um, the pot stickers, how I'm going to do those. This can't be easier. This is just such a quick and easy lunch for me. And I'm gonna have a side salad. Um, so this is the Tupperware's multi-cooker. And in here, in the bottom, I have uh, water because this is the, the steaming. And here's the large colander. I'm gonna put my pot stickers right there. And I have found that this steams pot stickers, if I make them homemade or if I do these, it steams them better than um, my bamboo steamer. I, the bamboo steamer, they tend to stick, the dough sticks on it. And yeah, I might make a couple extra just because I can. So how many is that? One, two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I'll, I'll do 12. And so this is going in the microwave on 90% power for seven minutes. And then they'll be done and ready to put in the skillet. And I've got olive oil and roasted sesame oil. So I'll show you that coming up next. 
Okay, so the microwave has just beeped for me and it's ready. So steam, look at all that steam. It steams vegetables and fish perfectly. It's so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these transferred into my skillet here and I'll switch places for them. This, if I eat all of this, you're looking at five points basically. So I don't know that I can eat them all because I've got a salad going. <laughs> all right guys, we'll be back when I serve it up. Okay guys, so here it is and um, these are done. I'm hoping that they're cooled off enough for me to get a good bite. And today I'm using chopsticks. It'll slow me down a little bit. So dip, dip, and here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so these are fantastic. I just love them. And they're just little chicken, mini chicken wontons, and they're great for soups or just like this as an, an appetizer. They're wonderful to put out on an appetizer platter, you know, as a platter. Um, next Bunko game, I might take these because they're delicious. Mm. I love that crisp. Mm. Quite often, I like them just plain steamed too. So these are, like I said, these are really good. You can use them in a soup, but I just wanted to share, this is a pretty light lunch for me. I've got a salad going and, and a few of these wontons and they're delicious. So if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. This is another option for you if you're doing the Weight Watchers freestyle. Um, that's what the points are per serving. So four of them are two points and they're pretty filling, believe it or not. And they're full of flavor with this sauce. It's delicious. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget there'll be links above and down below in the description box. If you need anything from me, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, bye.